Chapter 1, Mishnah 3. Mishnah 1 taught that a Pesach offered for the sake of another type of Korban before its time or after its time is valid. It becomes invalid only if it was offered in its time. This clearly refers to a Pesach offered on the afternoon of the 14th of Nisan, Erev Pesach, when the Pesach is supposed to be offered. The Mishnah now considers whether it applies also to a Pesach offered on the morning of that day. If a Pesach was slaughtered on the morning of the 14th of Nisan, not for its own sake, but for the sake of a different type of Korban, Rabbi Yeshua considers it valid, just as if it had been slaughtered for the sake of a different Korban on the 13th. Since the Pesach cannot be offered until the afternoon of the 14th, slaughtering it in the morning is no different from slaughtering it before the 14th. But Ben Becerra considers it invalid, just as if it had been slaughtered for the sake of a different Korban on the afternoon of the 14th. The Tanakam of Mishnah 1 ruled that all Korbanas offered for the sake of another type of Korban are valid except for the Pesach and Chatas. Our Mishnah cites another version of that rule. Shimon ben Azai said, I received the tradition from the 72 sages of the great Sanhedrin. On the day they appointed Rabbi Eleazar ben Azariah to the position of Nasi, that all Korbanas that have parts that are eaten that were slaughtered not for their own sake, but for the sake of a different type of Korban, remain valid, except that they do not count for the owner toward fulfilling his obligation. The exception to this rule is the Pesach and Chatas, which, although they are eaten, become completely invalidated by being slaughtered for the sake of a different Korban. Shimon ben Asai says virtually the same thing as the Tanakam of Mishnah 1. The only thing he adds to that Tana's version of the rule is the words that are eaten. The Mishnah explains what Shimon ben Asai means to add with these words. Ben Asai added only the Ola to the Tanakam's list of korbanas that become completely invalidated by being slaughtered for the sake of a different type of korban. But uh, the sages did not agree with him. Rather, they hold like the Tanakama that only the Pesach and Chatas become invalidated.